Hello and welcome to Kinetic Rock and Scroll demo. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate Kinetic Rock and Scroll features prior to the Beta 1.0 release. After installing application, it can be found in your Applications folder. When application first comes up, a certain settings are displayed, including accelerometer polling, game mode, push and pull screen orientation and notifications. Throughout this video I'll try to cover all these features and how they apply to motion input uh, to our motion input solution in Rock and Scroll. The default mode of operation is flick action. That mode applies to portrait orientation. So in this orientation I would have to flick my hand like so to control the highlight. And notice a certain force is applied to control the, the cursor. If I just simply tilt the device from side to side, nothing is going to happen because in this mode of operation we're looking for a certain force. So with that in mind, let's take a look at a music player use case scenario. I'd flick my hand to the left to select music player, and then I just push the device down to make the selection. Once again I can tilt left and right up and down to go uh, around menus, in this case it's just up and down, and then once the desired option is selected I can just uh, do a push command to make the selection. And I can do a pull command by moving the device towards me to get back up one level, like so. But let's take a look at actually how would you select songs in the music player? Now right now you're presented with a list of songs and you can flip through them one at a time like so which is not really convenient especially if you have a long song list. So what you can do is you can rotate the device horizontally and thus automatically switch to a different mode of operation. We call this the game mode. Game mode is sensitive to tilt commands and not necessarily the motion. So by tilting the device I can scroll up and down like so and when I, when I want to stop the tilt I would just return it return the device to the home zone and the home zone is set uh, by when you change the device orientation. So if this was the if let's say right now I'm holding the device at a 45 degree angle and I were to change the orientation this angle, this 45 degree angle would be my home zone so if I tilt the device down it will scroll, if I return it back it will stop and the same goes for the tilt up so and actually exactly the same concept here of push and pull, you can push to select a song and then pull to get out of it. And with the song playing you can of course change the orientation device once again. So let's take a look at another application that uses exactly the same concepts as the music player. I would flick my hand from left to right to select different pictures. I could also just change the orientation and scroll continuously. I can go back, I can actually use the push command to select the picture like so and continue flipping through pictures by flicking my wrist and when I'm done all I have to do is just pull up to get out and pull up again. You've previously seen two different modes of operation one relies on flicking and the other relies on tilt. But how would you switch the modes of operation without actually rotating the device? Well, we've implemented it that way so you can use the pen key to toggle between different modes. So right now I switch to tilt mode while in the portrait orientation. And by pressing the pen key again, I will 
toggle the mode back to flick action. And here's how you can play the game. You can rotate the screen and continue playing and rotate it back.